Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, <coughs> Salaki. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekha Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS and rule well. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect. <coughs> this is GMS. Stop and listen. GMS Arkansas. Uh, brother, one of the brothers uh, sent me this picture. We was talking yesterday uh, about these Moabites and this uh, coronavirus, uh, you know, this H8N5 uh, pestilence that they going out. And we we kind of we kind of laughed about this this picture. <coughs> so like in the background, you see Moab them. You know, in the front of their store, they had dear customers. Everyone working here have not leave U.S. past two years. You know how they say we not leave the U.S. past two years. <laughs> so, they, so ain't nobody really dealing with Moab because people are afraid. Okay. The Most High has a fear going out of you catching a uh, virus that can kill you. So, which, when when it's all a part of Esau's plan, because I think they them in China would China basically disagree with a trade agreement or something like that. And you know the U.S. man, when you don't you don't lay in the bed with her and follow her philosophies, you know she'll make things happen. But it's all in the spirit. Through the spirit and power you have by Shemel Shai, that's 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 bringing these uh, uh, curses on Moab, because you gotta remember, man, the Israelites, man, we've been under curses for so long, but now the Lord is basically uh on his way to taking the curses off of us, right? And they're and they're gonna be going on our enemies, man. Okay. Uh. Let's, let me read that. That's Deuteronomy. I think it's 30. I think 37. It says, And the Lord Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies and upon them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So, the curses, these curses that was put upon us in Deuteronomy, when you read in the 28th chapter, they're they're basically sliding over on our enemies, man. Basically, uh, Moab, you you uh, you feeling like we've been feeling the whole time. The brother had said, uh, uh, Moab are the new uh, new Negroes, man. And it was just funny because yeah, when you think about it, y'all y'all the new y'all the new Negroes in the states. You know, Esau is coming out to you right now, okay? And you're feeling it real fast, man. You know, they've been coming after us for years, man. When you go back in Exodus, how they did us in Exodus. And when it says, scriptures say, when we were under that stress and duress, we, we multiplied. But this is happening fast, man. Y'all, y'all, it's to the point where y'all, uh, you look over there in, in China, in Wuhan, the streets look desolate. You know, and that's the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because guess what? Moab, when you go back in the scriptures, Moab, you came against us too, okay? You brought the sword on us too. So he that leadeth into captivity, well, you shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword, you must be killed with the sword. And this is just the beginning. You know, this is just the beginning, man. This is just the beginning because uh, I think the Lord said he's going to send a, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, what was it, uh, Judges. I want to say it was, was it, was it 20? Numbers. I don't know it might be numbers. Uh, what he say? He would send. But that's one too. This, this is one. Of the, this is one of the reasons why the Lord is basically. Uh, bringing these pestilence on on you okay uh, almost numbers 23 and 7 well let me go back to 21 let me go back to 20 chapter 21 and we go to like 20 it's a heat 
Woe to thee, Moab, thou art under art undone, O people of Kamash. Subduer. The, the deity of the Moabites and the god of the Ammonites, man. Also identified with Baal Peor, Baal Zubub, Mars, and Saturn. So you Moabites, you, you worship these idols, man. That's why I say woe unto thee. Because you are you are idol worshippers, man. And even now when you go into those uh when you go into these uh uh Moab restaurants, man, I'm telling you, you're eating you're eating animals such as dogs, cats, and you're eating rodents, man. You're eating you're eating unlawful foods. They eat uh, snails, they eat octopus, you know. They, they they will fry it, but they eat it raw. Uh, there are videos out there where they're eating uh, small rat fetuses, man. The, the, the newborn rats, they're still moving. These Moabites, man, they, they are uh, they are basically uh, uh, nasty, man. Basically, when you really look at it, okay, they're nasty, man. And, and they're, they're feeding you abominations, okay? But it's a beautiful thing, man, because if they're feeding it to the nation of Israel, hey, the Lord is basically stopping it, man. He's putting a halt to it. Because ain't nobody going to the restaurants, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to <clears throat> chapter 23, verse 7. Uh, this is one of the things Moab did. And he took up his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, have brought me from Aram out of the mountains of East saying come curse me Jacob and come defy Israel defy Israel meaning denounce them bring indignation on them this is this is what Balak the king of Moab at one time he wanted Balaam to put a curse on this man how sh how curse I how shall I curse whom the Lord have not cursed and how shall I defy whom the Lord have not defied? Defied, defied. Okay. But Moab, Moab, you have your you have your uh, uh, history with Israel, man. Okay. You have your history with Israel. Check this out. Amos the second chapter, verse one, and said the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai for three transgressions of Moab. And for four, I will turn, not I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom to lime, but I will send a fire unto Moab, and it shall devour the palaces of uh, Karath, and Moab shall die, and tumult will shouting, with sh shouting, and will soon sound of the trumpet, shouting in with the sound of the trumpet. So Moab, you're not going to get out of this punishment either, man. You came against the nation of Israel. When you read in Numbers, we could go read in uh, Numbers 24th chapter. Let's see, let's see here. Numbers 24. I think 17. I shall see him, but not. I think this is scripture I was going to get at first. I will behold him, but now nigh there shall come a star out of Jacob, Havashai, and a sceptre shall rise out of Israel and, and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth. And this is coming when uh, Havashai comes, but right now the Lord is, is putting these curses on you with this coronavirus, man. It's bringing up pestilence, man, you know. For the, for the transgressions that you transgress against Israel. No one is exempt from, from basically like payback. On what, whatever you did in history against the Israelites, man, the Lord is going to pay you back. There's no escaping. Even for Edom, man, the things you have done, hey, Amos 1 talks about for the three, four transgressions of Edom. And it's Obadiah, that whole book gives you what he's going to do to Edom, man. So all you nations, man. This is just a little prelude to uh, Moab, man. Dear customers, everyone working here have not left. They they wonder, you know how it is when you, you know they 
broken English, but have not left the United States in the past two years. That's what they're saying. So we ain't got that virus. That's what they're trying to say. But what do you get your, hey man, if they, if they got a, 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 you know how they can put a virus and spray it, it can spray it around. You know, people look at where you getting your uh, ingredients from. You're getting them from over there. Everything made over there. People going to stop buying clothes. They're going to they're gonna stop catching flights over there. You know, it's a big it's a big scare, man. But if you if you got the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai in your corner, hey, you ain't got to worry about nothing, man. You know? Uh this is uh the coronavirus update. It says death toll eleven 1 hundred. Okay. Coronavirus update eleven 1 hundred one hundred and fifteen deaths, more than forty five thousand cases. Coronavirus more cruise ships case confirmed as death toll continues. Coronavirus forces foreign students in China to choose do they stay or do they go. And a lot of these kids are studying and trying to get to uh, uh, obtain uh, uh, the wisdom of this world because the scripture tell you in First Corinthians that what the wisdom of this world is foolish with the Most High Man. So they're trying to obtain the wisdom of this world and and learn a language. Figuring uh, if I learn Chinese, I'll be able to trade because a lot of those kids that be taking finance, they 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 go over there and uh, journalism and finance, they go learn those other languages, man. You know, so they can deal. But do you stay or do you go? Okay, and a lot of them gonna be trying to leave out of there, man. But like you said, when they quarantine places, basically you can't do nothing. So hey, man, this power you how about shit me out shy, man. It's plaguing a lot of people right now, okay? Quarantine cruise passengers have many questions, see? And it, and it's going to trickle over to Japan, which is Ammon. Ammon, you had you had your uh, uh you had your uh plight with Israel. You know what I mean? Hey, it's it's all over, man. Okay? Corona outbreak affects ease in China, but death toll keeps climbing. See? High-risk patients. Hey, man, this thing, hey, y'all about shit, how shy, man, they, they, they turning it up. He turning it up, man. Okay? Ammon, you gonna get it? Because y'all all, all, all were enemies of Israel, man. You were enemies of, of, of our nation. And you've had your part. Check this out, Psalms 83 and 4. They have said, come let us cut cut them off from being a nation. Come let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. Okay. Now who did this? For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Okay. So they, they made a league. Okay. They made a league against us. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom, which is so-called white man. The Ishmaelites, who are the Arabs of Moab, these are the so-called Chi uh, Chinese, man. Y'all made confederate against us, man. So, hey, guess what? You deserve everything you're getting right now. In Hagarines, Gabal, and Ammon, Ammon are you so-called uh, Japanese man, and that virus is gonna spread through that far east man. Okay, it's gonna spread through the far east man. It's gonna be more quarantine. It's gonna be more uh more 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 deaths. Okay, it's gonna be more deaths man. So hey, with that, uh, you can read more scriptures man. J Jeremiah forty eight chapter, Isaiah twenty five and. 10 you know you can read how how they came against us in the uh joshua and the judges man moab you you had your uh run on israel too man i'm gonna read one more scripture and i'm gonna close the book of proverbs 15 and 3 
The eyes of the Lord Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So the Lord has seen all the things that you've done against the nation of Israel. Okay. And he's paying you back. Like the brother said, man, I ain't going to put his name out there, but me and the brother was talking yesterday. He said, Moab are the new Negroes, man. So, hey, man, the Lord has seen everything you've done, even all the way back to the book of Numbers when trying to put curses on us. And the judges and Joshua, when you when you captured us, man, and basically uh, brought the sword on us. And the Lord is repaying you back slowly, you know. And when the nation of Israel take over, then, hey, it's going to be more captivity for you nations, man. So with that, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekah Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. GMS, Arkansas, to the next time. I say Shalom.